Shalom. I want to start off by saying Kal Halal Yamla, Yahweh, Basham, Yahweshai, Basham, Raka Kodash. Double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone for teaching us the truth and who rule well. Peace and citations unto the Akim that is spread around the four corners of the earth, spreading this word in sincerity and in truth. Shalom to the hopeful elect. I'm the brother Quatas of Zion from the GMS Holland branch, coming back through the spirit and power of Yahweh Basham, Yahweshai, with another lesson, with another prayer, and Lord willing, this prayer is edifying. In this prayer, I want to go into Hosea 14, verse 2. That's the prayer that I'm going to translate. You know, what you can use to send up to Yahweh Basham, Yahweh Shai, to the Most High, which Yah is He. Hawa comes from Haya, which is to be or to exist. And Bahashem, Ba is in, Ha is the Sham is name. And Yahweh Shai is the person who everybody ignorantly calls Jesus. Yah is He. Yahweh Shai means to save or salvation. <clears throat> so this is the prayer that I'm going to translate and it's from the chapter Hosea 14 which is entitled Israel's future blessing you see we are going to receive the blessings we are going to be endowed with the most highest wisdom knowledge and understanding and all the benefits you know because we have been um, dwelling in our iniquities so long you know but by us putting off the old man by us turning back to Yahweh Shai, you know giving up sacrifices you see that's pleasing unto the most high you see and that's what I'm gonna dive into this is uh, Hosea 14 verse 1 O Israel return unto Yahweh thy power for thou has fallen by thine iniquity Take with you birds and turn to Yahweh. Say unto him, Take away all iniquity and receive us graciously, so will we render the calves of our lips. Gone. So, this is the part that I translated from uh, Hosea 14, verse 2. I took the part that says, Take away all iniquity and receive us graciously, so will we render the calves of our lips. And what is the what does it mean let me start off with iniquity take away all iniquity which iniquity is sin upon sin and receive us graciously so will we render the calves of our lips and what is the calves of our lips what do did we do with calves we sacrifice them to yahweh by shem yahweh shai Let's go to Hebrews. Hebrews 9 verse 12. Neither by the blood of goats and calves, but by his own blood he entered in once into the holy place, having obtained eternal redemp redemption for us. And that's speaking about Yahweh Shai. That Yahweh Shai, you know, before that we used to, before that, Yahweh Shai came and give, gave himself as a living sacrifice, you know, that he sacrificed his life for the, the remnant's sake. We had to buy the blood of goats and the blood of uh, calves. We had to stay in good, in good, in, in a good relationship with the Most High, you know. That's how we would cover our sins. With the bloods the blood of goats and calves you see but now that Yahweh Shai he gave himself up as a sacrifice we don't have to do that anymore so that's where that word calves of our lips render the calves of our lips in Hosea goes back to this is Hebrews 9 verse 19 for when Moses had spoken every precept to all the people according to the law he took the blood of calves and of goats with water and scarlet wool and hyssop and sprinkled both the book and the people so this was the the covenant this was the covenant that we made with Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai you know when Moses uh, took us out of the land of Egypt through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai of course you know Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai did it and he used Moses as a vessel to do it also Moses he sprinkled the the 
children of Israel with the blood of calves. You know, to signify the covenant that we were going to take upon ourselves. You know, the Most High, He, we made a contract with the Most High. Because that's what that word covenant goes, goes back to. You see? So now, it says, Take away all iniquity and receive us graciously, so will we render the calves of our lips. So that goes back to the sacrifice. You know, we will give our lips a sacrifice, meaning we will praise the Most High. That's going to be the sacrifice. Psalms. Under that 41 verse 2 let my prayer be set forth before thee as incense and the lifting up of my hands as the evening sacrifice so praising the most high praying to the most high your prayer is seen as incense and the lifting up of our hands as the evening sacrifice so you the prayer that you set up it's also being seen as incense why if you go to revelation revelation 5 and 8 says this and when he had taken the book the four beasts and four and twenty elders fell down before the lamb having every one of them harps and golden veils full of odors which are the prayers of saints you see so these vials, these vases, vases, these vials full of odors, those were the prayers of saints. You see, so the incense, the prayer that you set up, it's seen as incense, it's seen as odor. You see? And that's why it's very important to set up your prayers because they are being collected in the heavens. You see? It's a personal relationship that you're... Um, that you're making with Yahweh Bashim Yahushai and also your prayers are being collected, man. Your prayers are being heard. You see? Let's go real quick to Tobit 12th 12, 12 verse 15 and it reads, I am Raphael, one of the seven holy angels, which present the prayers of the saints, and which go in and out before the glory of the Holy One. See, so this is uh, Raphael, one of the seven holy angels, one of the seven archangels, which uh, Raphael, which is in the Lashwan Kodash, is Rapa Allah, which Rapa means to heal, and Allah is the Most High. So, it means healing of the Most High. The Most High has healed. So, Raphael, he is presenting the prayers of the saints. You see? And they're being collected in these vows. And in the end times, the Most High is going to, uh, uh, um, like we just read, they are being used in the worshipping of the Lamb. You see? Let's go to Sirach 35, verse 17, and it says, The prayer of the humble pierceth the clouds, and it, until it come nigh, he will not be comforted, and will not depart till the Most High shall behold to judge righteously and execute judgment. See, so the prayer of the of the saints, the prayer of the humble, they pierce the clouds. Until it come nigh, he will not be comforted. So, just like the scripture says, give him no rest until he establish the kingdom of heaven here upon earth. You see, so we are not going to stop sending prayers up to the Most High because the word prayer goes uh, back to begging. We are begging and pleading the Most High to bring forth this judgment upon this place you see 
but in his judgment we ask mercy of him we ask that he receives us graciously you see because the most high is going to come with with judgment and we don't want to be partakers of that judgment of the most high let's go to Isaiah 1 verse 9 because it says in the Hosea that we just read receive us graciously and who is that us that us is the remnant you know the 144,000 and the innumerable multitude that are going to be spared so this is Isaiah 1 verse 9 except Yahweh power of hosts has left us have left unto us a very small remnant we should have been as Sodom and we should have been like unto Gomorrah you see so because there's a remnant otherwise the, the most high he would just purge this whole place but for the remnant's sake he is going to um, take the remnant out of the the way out of the line of fire let me say it like that because the most high is going to come with that fire and he's going to take us out of line of fire you see so if it was according if we if the most high didn't leave a remnant the whole nation of israel would be destroyed also you see So it's for the, the elect's sake and for the remnant's sake that we are still here as a nation. So we were reading the Hosea. Hosea 14 and 2. We already spoke about the iniquity. We already spoke about the us. Is the the us speaking about the the remnant? So will we render the calves of our lips, which is the sacrifice? We already spoke about the prayer, but now let's speak about the sacrifice. Because the calves that represent the the sacrifice, right? So let's go to Psalms. 69 verse 30 and 31 and it reads i will praise the name of yahweh with a song and will magnify him with thanksgiving this also shall please yahweh better than an ox or bullock that had horns and hooves you see so that sacrifice the most high he is pleased by sacrifice but he's even more pleased in the the prayers and into the praise that you give him you see the most high he enjoys that better because if you give a sacrifice if you lay it out a sacrifice why do you sacrifice because you went off because you sinned and now the bigger picture is we have been sinning all our lives and we are still sinning but the most high he rather wants you to obey than to give sacrifice like it says in the book of uh, first samuel or second samuel so the most high he wants you rather to obey he rather that you praise him that you gave him give him uh, um, the worship and the praise that he deserves so that's gonna please the most high better you see? Let's go to the last scripture, Hebrews 13, verse 15, and it reads, By him, therefore, let us offer the sacrifice of praise to Yahweh by Shem Yahushai continually. That is, so what is the sacrifice? Of the praise of Yahweh Bashem Yahushai continually, the fruit of our lips giving thanks to his name. That's the sacrifice. That's what the Most High uh, um, loves more than literally spilling blood of animals. You praising his name. 
you uttering his name, you sending up prayers unto him. The fruit of our lips, the fruit of our lips, the sacrifice of our lips is giving thanks and praise to Yahweh Bashem Yahushai. So, with that being said, let's go to the prayer. So I'm not going to read it again because you already know. Take away all iniquity and receive us graciously. So will we render the calves of our lips. And it's entitled Prayer for the Remnant. So now in the Lashon Kadash, it's Kal Tasha'a I won Wa Kwach. So like, yeah, Wa Wa Kwach Tawab. Wahna Shalama Pariam Shapat Yanawa. So now with the understanding, Kal Tasha A Kal is all Tasha A is take away. I won is iniquity. Wakwah Wa is an Kwah is to receive. Tawap is graciously. Wana Shalama Wa is and Nashalama is we will render Paryam Parya uh, Salakya Paryam uh, is calves the yam in the end makes it plural Shapat Yanawa Shapat is lips and Yanawa makes it our lips so this is a prayer that you can send on to the most high you know praying for the elect praying for the remnant Praying for the innumerable multitude, you know, that we that we be received graciously, you know, that the Most High He spares us, that He takes away all our iniquities. You see. So yeah, man. Here it is. This video has been edifying, and I want to say, Kalhalayamla Yahweh Ba'asham Yahushai Ba'asham Rikah Kodesh Shalom Akim.